has nothing to do with the advice from the governors of the South South. I believe it's a strictly legal uh, position. Now, a party who is objecting to the jurisdiction of the court has a right to be absent from the proceedings as long as it's represented. His argument is, this is a non-starter. You can't bring me here. Irrespective of whether the merits or the merits of whatever you say you are bringing up against me, but this court has no jurisdiction to try me. And I think precisely that is the reason why the Honorable Chief Justice decided to be absent. It had nothing to do with the advice of the South South Governor. Right. Now, the issue again there is that there are two ways to interpret it. Now, are you going to say uh, what is being brought against his lordship has to do with the regard, has to do with regards to the performance of his judicial functions, or we are strictly looking at it in the layman's context that the CCB envisages that is a public officer? If I say he's a public officer, the issue of going to the NJC doesn't arise. But if we look at it as a judicial officer, of course, the NJC must first of all find him guilty of misconduct before any other body. And I am. So that's the issue that I think will most likely come up at the tribunal for interpretation, whether the action in question applies to him as a public officer or whether as a judicial officer. It's when that is sorted, that is when we can know the cause.